Okay, welcome to the Supercar Spin news show where we trawl through all of the press releases for the month and find basically anything that's interesting so you don't have to. When we say interesting, that means anything to do with supercars, uh, luxury cars, or anything labeled as a sports car, really. Uh, so we won't be talking about prices, or VW, Polo, diesels, or any of that SRAM. No, you won't find it on this show. Okay, first up we have? We have uh, we have the Porsche 918 Spyder, uh, which has been confirmed for limited production. Great news. Yep, uh, that means a thousand people have said to Porsche, we will put our money forwards for this car. Excellent. Now. Yeah. The car is, uh, what's it powered by? Powered by a V8, 373 kilowatts, uh, and it uses two twin axle motors. Uh, electric motors? Um, electric motors, with the V8 sitting in the middle, so it's basically a hybrid, it's electric and it's petrol. That's uh, amazing. It's a petrol. And performance wise? Well, I, well, hang on a minute, what's amazing is the price, 500,000 euros. It's, uh, but it's not serious. much more than the Carrera GT, so it's um, well, the relatively Carrera, cheap for the Carrera GT was 453,000, so it is more expensive. Yep. Uh, but not by much. Performance, 3.2 seconds to 100, so it's seriously quick. That 320 seriously kilometers quick. an hour at top speed. Amazing. Hopefully it makes its way down under. Hot. It looks hot. Yeah, definitely. It looks super hot. Uh, Much better looking than the ugly but ugly Panamera. Okay, next is the Ferrari 458 Italia Challenge has been revealed, which is basically a track version of the 458 uh, road car. Mm -hmm. Um, What's interesting is that it uses the exact same unmodified 425 kilowatt V8. Um, Also, the 458 dual clutch transmission is exactly the same except for different key ratios um, which basically produces high torque at lower revs. Yep. And also uh, performance wise ridiculous 3.4 to 100. Um, the other thing that they've kept the same is the... what else did they keep the same? No that was it I think. But, um, and it has those centre locking wheel nut jobbies right. like the Porsche has. Yep. Um, the yeah like the Porsche GD3, GD2 I, I believe some of them is an optional extra you can have the central locking wheel nuts so that you yeah, your local uh, breakdown repair man cannot understand what to do when you have a breakdown. Um, next in the news is the Bentley Continental GT update 2011 one. It's so been spied. The last of the current shape essentially. Yep. It's been spied by uh, spy photographers it looks like a, a giant expensive chessboard basically or my shirt <coughs> the, yeah the uh, updates are rear LED lights um, LED lights headlights on the front as well that's what's covered up so that's what can be assumed yeah that's what can be assumed engine wise same or um, looks like there's a sl- they're, 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 they're thinking that there's going to be a more powerful version of the W12 engine up from 6 litres to 6.3 litres okay. um, and up from 368 kilowatts to 373 kilowatts so maybe potentially the new GT's engine yeah. even if this is the last one so yeah so if you want okay. a seriously fast Bentley worth waiting for that one uh, a BMW M5 production ends unfortunately uh, well unfortunately because uh, it was an amazing, amazing car amazing car sold well yeah it was the most popular M5 ever sold ever made by um, by BMW really Fantastic. really good car uh, I, I think it looks like a good car uh, a lot of people uh, aren't a fan of its looks but I think it's it's great well, it was the sales have dictated that it was an amazing car so that's right uh, most of them were sold in America and uh, and the second most popular place was uh, Great Britain and Ireland followed thirdly by its home country of Germany excellent next bit of news some more BMW news so in line with the M5 the M6 has also been retired so uh, and basically the last of the current M6 um, has been debuted um, and it shares the same engine as the M5 that's going out of production that we just talked about so that means yeah. that F1 inspired engine the V10 and the V10 is unfortunately no longer and mention of the next engine which is the next bit of news as well is the new f- uh, what is it it's the new 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 yeah because it's been spied in yeah the new M5 has been spied with its pants down so it's, its bonnet's been open and we can see what's under its uh, under its bonnet there so twin turbo hey interesting yeah. route yeah twin twin turbo um, it's uh, got a new gearbox as well I believe yes uh, 8 speed eight dual speed clutch dual transmission clutch. amazing 8 speed so uh, yeah it'd be hard to keep those. up with the gear changes yeah clicking through those gears definitely some Italian news is Maserati has actually um, announced that a new uh, announced plans for a new entry level sporting sedan so to rate to sort of compete against the 5 series and the E class mm. and they've also mentioned the, the last of the Quattroporte which mm. is going to be replaced at the end of 2011 mm-hmm. new models meant to be selling for about 55,000 euros or the that's 80,000 yeah, yeah the, uh, the entry level one or 80,000 uh, Australian dollars converted over but it, we know it won't sell for that cheap in this country no, not after all our stupid taxes unfortunately, unfortunately. 
Uh, Lotus have said uh, and have said that they can announce something extremely uh, exciting at the uh, Parish Auto Show. So the turnip farmers from England, as Jeremy Clarkson calls them, have said that the Esprit could be unveiled at the Paris Auto Show, which is coming up in a few weeks. Um, we say just get on with it, Lotus, and, uh, and release the Esprit. Comes out, yes, um, uh, we don't. It might be coming out because we have spotted the, the that red and white Exige. Um, the Spy Fellows last last yeah. month. We had a V6 potentially in the back of the Lotus or Exige. Or a V8 Esprit. Who knows? It's, it's quite heavily flared. So it's potentially not even an, an Exige or an Elise chassis under there. So they could have been testing line. the uh, the Esprit with yeah. an Exige body on top. Yes. Yes. Uh, hopefully that means they're making good progress. So Mercedes news. Um, Mega news month for Mercedes. Yeah, a lot of news for Mercedes. They've um, spy tested the 2011 SLK um, given away by the 4 exhaust. They've also um, released information on, or it's been spotted, sorry, of the C Coupe and AMG version, which I believe is the first of that of that um, variation, probably to compete against the BMW M3 Coupe. You missed out on the uh, SLK AMG. They're they're actually oh. been driving a bit drunk, as you can see. Uh, they've been mounting the curb, so a bit too excited and uh, decided <laughs> to cut the corners there. Possibly escaping paparazzi. Yep, uh, cutting corners on a German roundabout. Very good. So now, also, Mercedes have unveiled the S63 AMG. So it's the last of the S-Class AMG. Um, it's actually got the new 5.5 litre twin turbo V8 engine. It's interesting that Mercedes are going the same route as um, BMW in twin turbo in the new Turboing version of their, their engines to lower their cars. emissions. Yep, yep. And they're still up in the power at the same time. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Next bit of news is... The uh, last last bit of Mercedes news: the CL63 AMG and the CL65 AMG have been revealed. CL63 AMG, massively uh, powerful engine, uh, 0 yeah. to 100 sprint in 4.4 seconds, electrically limited to 250 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's going to be having 400 kilowatts and uh, 800 newton meters of torque. Now, if that wasn't enough for you. You have the CL65, the range topper, which is a twin turbo V12, six liter. Um, it's gonna be an amazing 4.2 seconds to 100. How much torque? 1,000 newton meters. A lot of torque. Four digits of torque. Amazing. More than any person needs, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, gonna be having trouble putting its power to the road, maybe. Not in the straight line, it'll be fine, but yeah. Yeah, it won't go around corners too well, maybe. No. We'll see. Some Ferrari news. The GTO, basically, they've revealed some new photos of it. So not much news, but still exciting, nevertheless, because it's it good is It's good enough. Gorgeous. They released new photos of the, of the 599 GTO. We're happy. Amazing. It Sounds is amazing. the best sounding car ever. There's a, uh, was it auto? Uh, auto car review. Auto car review on amazing. the internet. Have a listen to, have watched that video and listen to it. It sounds amazing. Some pretty exciting Lamborghini news, I think. Mm, the Estoque, uh, yes. no one knows how to pronounce it, but uh, could be heading for production, uh, has been announced by Lamborghini. Uh, it's uh, it's basically it's a V10 up the front, um, but it's, uh, it's, a it, it's, it's a four door. It's a four door. It's a four door. Four door four seat Lamborghini. Exactly. So. Goes up against the Aston Martin Rapide and the hideously but ugly Porsche Panamera. Yes. Um, I hope it goes into production. It looks amazing. I, I love it. It looks cool. And what I love is they're actually, or find interesting, is they're talking about a seven-speed twin-clutch gearbox, which mm, the which is a new one for that. Yeah, yeah. Yet, that's, a, that's, so. that's a step up from the e-gear. E from the e-gear. Yeah. Absolutely. And finally, save the best to last, the beautiful Zonda double H uh, or HH double H however you want to say it, it's beautiful so it's a special one off basically for a, a wealthy customer mm -hmm. wealthy American yep so Horatio is building it just for this customer to his specifications basically which is a mixture of the Zonda F and the yep Chinke. could be one of the final ever Zondas released the Zonda's been going for 11 years now amazing um, and uh, this could be one of the final ones it looks amazing blue and black carbon fibre so that's the month's news. We'll see you next month. Thank you.